Hello, beautiful kindred souls, and welcome to my spiritual oasis. Here, weary souls come to find inner wisdom and peace. We're doing a yes or no pick a card reading today. I always like to say with any reading, really, but particularly with yes or no readings, these are meant to be affirming messages. Use your own intuition and powers of discernment to decipher what message or messages are meant for you. Before I get into the groups, I would like you to join the kindred family by subscribing to my youtube channel if something resonates with you in any of the readings please do drop a comment down below and let me know what did let me know which group you selected which group called to you um also click like on the video it helps others find the messages meant for them if you're interested in your own personal reading whether it's a yes or no reading or other type of reading you can connect with me on Etsy. I curate all kinds of content in my Etsy shop to help my kindred souls on their life and spiritual journeys. So check that out if you are so moved to do that. Now into our group. So we have six groups prepared today. Um, our group number one here, two, three, four is down here, five and six. So pause the video if you need a moment to determine which group has your message in it. Of course, we have our feather energy um, presence here. So again, pause the message or pause the video if you need a moment to meditate on which um, group has your message. Otherwise, we're going to get right into the readings. Hello, group number one, and welcome to your yes or no reading. We're going to go ahead and flip over the answer to your yes or no question is a yes. It says affirmative. Is this supportive, hopeful, or encouraging? And we have our goose feather as a part of this um, clarifying message. Your dreams and desires are calling you to action. The journey begins today. Mm. Yeah, so I definitely feel like the message here is connected to following your dreams, your path, your purpose, your calling. Um, and if you're asking a question connected to that, I do feel like it's a yes, it's an affirmative. It's you're being supported. Um, if if you're saying, I think, OK, the idea is that you are saying yes to something that is supporting your ideas, that's um, supporting your dreams, that's encouraging you to fo follow your calling to um, pursue something that you are passionate about that you truly desire um, and I do also feel like the goose is suggesting here that we're making a decision we're making a call today to move in that direction to get closer to our dreams to get in alignment with our desires and our dreams and paths and purpose and calling and we are taking action here, which is, this is a doing energy. You are taking a step forward in a direction that is going to support um, your dreams and what you are called to do. Um, what other energy am I feeling here? You know, with the desire energy, it really feels like fire energy, like passion. Like, what are you passionate about? Are you pursuing something that you are passionate about? Or are you just kind of living life? Are you just kind of doing what, you know, what your parents did or what they want you to do? Or are you following their dreams? Or are you following your own dreams? I feel like there's also a message here encouraging you to determine, like to really sit back and determine, like, what is it that I truly want to do with my life? What is my calling? What is spirit calling me to take action on? Because the more passionate you are about something, the more longevity you have, the more the ability you have to overcome obstacles and, you know, continue forward because it's something you truly love. And I always like to connect this for myself with teaching. I love teaching and going through d challenges and difficulties and, you know, working with people, which is what I also do here on my channel, obviously. Um, I just, I love it. 
I, I don't even like have a really good reason why I just love it. I love, you know, working through challenges with others and helping them find solutions to um, their, their struggles or issues or concerns or areas where they get stuck. So, you know, that is something I'm really passionate about. And I just know I'm going to continue doing it until I have no more air left in my body. <laughs> so <laughs> these beautiful, I think you're being called to find that same passion and that same energy today as well. So, you know, sit down and ask yourself some questions and truly figure out if you're doing what you would like to do in your life it is if it is something that is um pushing you closer to what you are called to do so beautiful soul these are the messages that i have channeled for you today i hope this was helpful for you drop a comment down below if something resonated click like and subscribe if we're not already connected here on youtube and if you're interested in your own personal reading do connect with me on etsy link in the description thank you so much for your energy and i'll see you in an upcoming reading Bye. Hello, group number two, and welcome to your yes or no reading. The answer to your yes or no question is a yes. It says, undoubtedly. Is there any uncertainty? If so, why? is the uncertainty in your head or your heart. So whenever this card shows up, I feel like it's just asking you to pause a little bit. So it is an affirming message, it is saying, yes, do this. But it's also saying, are you, is there any uncertainty? Why are you uncertain if you are? And then asking you to analyze a little bit of where, where the, what is the root of that uncertainty? Is it in your head? Meaning, you know, is it, you know, some sort of fear or insecurity that you have? Is it just kind of something that's rattling around in your head? Or is it your logic or your reason telling you that maybe that's not the best idea? Or is it your heart saying that this isn't really what you want? This isn't really what you're passionate about. This isn't really in alignment with your path and your purpose. So it's really just asking you to, to, to turn over some questions if you did have some doubt or if you did have some uncertainty. So let's get our feather message. Okay, so we have the Oriole here. A new creative venture is on the horizon. Mm. See it as a positive change. Okay, so some messages that I certainly got out of here is if you asked a question around some sort of creative adventure, some sort of change in your life that's connected to your, you know, some sort of creative endeavor or some sort of maybe it's something that you've always wanted to pursue. Maybe you just didn't have the resources or the time or energy or, you know, the go ahead, if you will, to do so. Um, and maybe you're feeling some doubt. Maybe there's some insecurity there. Maybe um, you feel like you're too old or you feel like, you know, whatever the the issue is, I do feel like um, spirit through the oral energy is saying that, you know, yes, yes to this new creative adventure, um, this creative venture, uh, yes to uh, this positive change, yes to following your dreams, following your heart, following your talents, following your um, gifts, yes to new energy new keeps like standing out to me because a lot of the times we doubt or we're uncertain when things are changing in general because we know what was we know what was in the past we know what has already happened but we don't know what will happen we don't know what that new opportunity is going to bring to us we don't know if it's going to be something positive or something that's going to be challenging and difficult or negative even and I just feel like spirit is saying this change is positive, even though there might be challenges, it's still a positive change. And sometimes we get so wrapped up in the difficulty of a situation or a scenario that we lose sight of the bigger picture. And I feel like the bigger picture here, like this idea of a horizon, right? It's in the distance, it's further away. And often to get to that horizon and get to that place at the end, we have to go through all sorts of different obstacles and challenges and 
We have to take detours and, you know, we, we have a path, but sometimes the path doesn't always uh, function the way we think it's going to. And we end up going into tunnels and we go into forests and we just kind of, it takes us on a journey. And I feel like this idea of enjoying the ride, enjoying the journey, but also keeping a positive mindset and keeping a, po- a mindset that, that change especially one that is following a creative passion, any kind of passion um, is positive and just keeping that mindset. And that is what, um, you know, you, you keep telling yourself, just keeping that positivity going. So beautiful soul, these are the messages of channel for you today. I hope this was helpful. If something resonated, drop a comment down below. Click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not already connected here on YouTube. And if you're interested in your own personal reading, do connect with me on my Etsy shop link in the description. Thank you so much for your time and energy, and I'll see you in an upcoming reading. Bye. Hello, group three, and welcome to your yes or no reading. So the answer to your yes or no question is a no. Straight up, no chaser. Let's see what our additional message is for you. So we have the crane. You will soon enter into a beneficial partnership. Luck and longevity bless this union. Okay. I feel like the no is here because it's, I feel like it's kind of asking you to pause. Is asking you to take a moment and pause and or not add anything new to your plate because some sort of partnership is coming your way, some sort of union. So it could be a romantic relationship, it could be a friendship, it could be some sort of work, career, business related uh, partnership. But it's, it's, it's saying that, and I also feel like for some of you, I'm getting the message here that this partnership could be between you and spirit. You, It's a beneficial partnership, and it could come in many different shapes, forms, fashions, but it is going to be beneficial. It is going to help you push your dreams forward. It's going to help you get to where you need to go. And um, this idea of luck. So I always like the definition of luck being where preparedness and opportunity meet. I love that definition of luck because I truly believe in it. You know, um, I feel like, you know, with universe being an affirming entity, affirming energy, what we put our intent into, the universe you know, that energy attracts to us. It's like, you know, magnets, magnetic magnetic energy. So when really awesome things come your way, it's because you have put yourself into a position to receive those things. Um, so I like the idea of luck. And then this idea of longevity as well, long lasting. This is something that's gonna be lasting. So if you are asking a question about a romantic situation, maybe up to this point if things have not been going not have uh, your relationships have not had longevity there is a message here that things are going to be you know have sustainability have longevity to them and um it's going to be a blessing to you it's going to be beneficial so i really love this card this message is really strong and i feel like the no again is really asking you to pause it's really uh asking you to look within and to make sure that you are ready to receive this partnership make sure that you are ready to um uh only you know be yeah make sure that you are prepared to receive this this partnership and that um you don't think it's too good to be true or you don't think you deserve it all of those sorts of things as well so beautiful so these are the messages i've channeled for you today i hope this was helpful for you if something resonated drop a comment down below click like and subscribe to my youtube channel if you're not already connected here on youtube if you're interested in your own personal reading connect with me on etsy link in the description thank you so much for your time and energy and i will see you in an upcoming reading bye Oops. hello
group four and welcome to your yes or no reading. The answer to your yes or no question is a no. You have something else, it says. And you have the owl. Um, your intuition is correct. Follow your inner wisdom without fail. And I feel like this goes, like this um, goes over the yes or no message. So... I feel like making the decision is based off of the owl energy message, your intuition, and your inner wisdom. It will not fail you is the message here. So follow that first and foremost before any other messages or energies, okay? Now, the yes or no message, I do feel like this is telling you that you have something else, whether you know it yet or not. It could be something that's in the works. Works. It could be something that's coming to you very soon. But I do. I am receiving the message here that you are being asked to kind of like keep the runway clear. You know, keep some room, some space in your um, world, in your realm, in your heart, in your time, in your energy. Um, to receive something or maybe even to continue with something you've already been working on. It could be some sort of a personal journey, self-love journey. Um, and maybe you've kind of been working on yourself physically, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, all of that uh, beautiful energy. And if something else is coming in to kind of interrupt or disturb that, I feel like the owl spirit is saying you are wise enough to know whether or not this is conducive to what you are actively pursuing or what is coming from your affirmations and the other things that you're claiming and making space for in your life. So I do feel like there is a message here for you to use your intuition, to follow your inner wisdom and to reject anything that is not in alignment with what you are currently doing right now, if it's something that's going to be distracting or it's something that someone's trying to get you to do and it's not necessarily something that is conducive to what you are actively doing right now, use your intuition, use your wisdom in order to make the best decision for yourself. So beautiful soul, these are the messages I've channeled for you today. I hope this was helpful. If something resonated, drop a comment down below. Let me know it did. Click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if we're not already connected here on YouTube. If you're interested in your own personal reading, connect with me on Etsy, link in the description. Thank you so much for your time and energy, and I'll see you in an upcoming reading. Bye. Hello, group five, and welcome to your yes or no reading. The answer to your yes or no question is a no. It says not this time. Okay, so timing seems to be important in this message. Just go ahead and get your supporting energy. So you have the turkey spirit. Honor your own time of harvest. Ooh, two messages on time. Offer your gifts and blessings as service to the greater good. Okay, so there are definitely underlying messages here about timing. It's a blaring message, actually. That one's a really obvious message. So... In relationship to whatever you're asking, make sure that the timing is right. So it could be a no for now and a yes for later, depending on the timing of the situation, keeping that in mind. This said, there's a there's a, a message of gratitude as well with the turkey spirit and um, this idea of harvest. So I feel like fall, for some reason, keeps coming to my heart fall as uh, this idea of a harvest time time of harvesting i feel like it's also a message around not not harvesting too early as well sometimes we get so excited because we see the potential we see the fruit starting to form on our you know these bushes and trees that we've planted and sometimes we get a little overzealous and we want to harvest too early so i feel like there's a message around patience there's a message around gracious or gratitude as well as well as this idea of offering so i feel like okay this feels very specific but if you're asking a question related to business in some way or some sort of services that you're offering or some sort there just feels like there's a message around 
offering something um, rather than feeling like everything has to be monetarily compensated right away. There'll be the there'll be a time for that. Um, there'll be a time for that is the message that I'm receiving. But I'm getting offering your gifts um, and blessings as a service. Um, I feel like getting to know your gifts, your gifts and talents is another message here. Um, being grateful for the blessings that you have. Um, having a service attitude as you approach pretty much anything in your life. How can you serve your community, your family, yourself, you know, your spiritual community, all of these different things. So coming from a, a humble position of service. And this idea of greater good to, which just reminds me of the collective conscious, um, the collective spiritual energy, the uh, collective forces in general. Uh, and also looking beyond yourself and your immediate world and looking out into the greater world at large and how they might benefit from your gifts and blessings as well. So lots of messages here packed to the gills with some really beautiful messages focused primarily on timing and making sure that you are being mindful of timing and respecting timing as you navigate through your current situation so beautiful so these are the messages that i've channeled for you today i hope this was helpful for you if something resonated do drop a comment down below let me know it did click like and subscribe to my youtube channel if we're not already connected here on youtube if you're interested in your own personal reading do connect with me on etsy link in the description beautiful soul thank you so much for your time and energy and i'll see you in an upcoming reading bye Hello, group six, and welcome to your yes or no reading. The answer to your yes or no question is a no, not really your thing. Every opportunity is not a fruitful endeavor. So we have the dove spirit. Feel and allow a deeper sense of peace to fill you now. This is a divine quality. Ooh, okay. So the message that I'm receiving really strong here is stop being busy. Stop being busy you do not have to i'm getting the message for those of you who complete something and then immediately fill that thing up with something else and you're constantly on the go you're constantly moving around you're constantly doing things your time is always occupied i'm getting the message here stop being busy you don't have to be busy in order to be productive, in order to have a life that is fruitful and um, that is um, a positive, that's going to have a positive impact on the world at large or on your community or whatever you're striving to do. I feel like the dove isn't really encouraging you here to take a moment, like pause, like ask that question, like, is this really something that I want to do? Is this something I really, is, is, this, is this something that is connected to my bigger picture in alignment with my path and purpose? So this idea of feeling and allowing allowance, um, a deeper sense of peace, this idea of peace. Um, if you feel like you're constantly on the go, constantly on the move, cannot sit still, sit still for five minutes your day is just packed to the gills with things and stuff and places and events or other people's stuff whatever it is i feel like the dove spirit is asking you to pause pause and feel and determine whether or not this is truly something that is in alignment with your past path and purpose if you are stressed out you know stress anxiety that's not peace and when you're in alignment with your path and purpose and you're in balance and harmony with not only that, but also like the needs of your physical being and your mental health and wellness, you will be at peace. So I just feel like there's an overall message of kind of decluttering your life and not taking on things that are, um, you know, not taking on things that 
just to, to fill space and to fill time and to feel like you are being productive, but to be productive by allowing yourself to be at peace, allowing yourself to not have all these extraneous things in your life and to understand that every opportunity is not for you and every opportunity is not going to be fruitful, especially if your heart isn't in it, you're not going to be of service to whatever that cause is or, you know, if you're stressed out, overwhelmed, stretched too thin, you're not going to be truly able to lean into it the way you would want to. Um, So, peace. Is this thing bringing you peace? If it is, awesome, go ahead. If it's not, say no. It's okay to say no. All right, beautiful soul, these are the messages I've channeled for you today. I hope this was helpful for you. If something resonated, do drop a comment down below. Click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if we're not already connected here on YouTube. And if you're interested in your own personal reading, do check out my Etsy shop. Link in the description below. Thank you so much for your time and energy, and I'll see you in an upcoming reading. Bye.